Welcome to our second section about number properties. In this video, we're going to cover topics such as the absolute value and order of operations that we also call PANDAS. All right, let's start. The absolute value. The absolute value is the distance of a number from zero. That is why the absolute value of a number is always positive. For example, the absolute value of 5 has to be 5. Let's do some examples. The absolute value of negative 4 has to be positive 4. If we have an expression such as negative 15 minus 9, you have to do the operation. Once you get your result, in this case, negative 24, the absolute value of negative 24 has to be positive 24. What about the absolute value of negative 16? Well, you guess, yes, it's positive 16. Negative 10 plus 11. When you do this operation, the absolute value is 1. And the absolute value of 1, again, has to be positive 1. The last one, negative 15 plus 9 is equals to negative 6. But the absolute value of negative 6, and let's see if you can tell me, yes, is positive 6. Now, you have to be very, very careful. Be careful if the negative sign is outside the absolute value. Okay, before we were doing problems like this one, where you had a negative inside the absolute value, and that is why the absolute value of negative 15, it is positive 15. However, if you have a problem where you have a negative outside the absolute value, look what happens. The absolute value of negative 15 is actually positive 15. However, this negative is not involved with the absolute value, so it has to stay outside. That is why my answer is going to be negative. I'm going to repeat. Since the negative is outside and is not involved with the absolute value, he stays outside. So if the absolute value of negative 15 is there, Yes, that's going to be positive, but I still need to keep that negative. Let's practice together. The absolute value of negative 9 minus 10. Well, remember, since they both have equal signs, I need to add. I know that I'm going to get the absolute value of negative 19, and let's see if this pencil helps me. And the absolute value of negative 19 is positive 19. Now, I have the same problem well, look at this baby here. I have a negative outside. So what should I do? Remember, he's minding his own business. Therefore, if I have a problem like this, I hope that you're telling me that the answer is going to be negative 19. Let's do more practice. Negative 5 plus 10. Well, remember, I need to subtract. Then it's going to be positive 5, and the absolute value of positive 5 is just 5. Well, what about in this problem? Negative 10 plus 20, I know that that's going to be 10. The absolute value of 10 is positive 10. However, there is a negative here, minding its own business, and my answer has to be negative 10. Now let's talk about PANDAS. PANDAS has to be used when you have to simplify expressions. Let's remember that PANDAS can also be saying as, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. The most important thing that you always have to remember is that you do parentheses first, then exponents, then multiplication, left to right, then division, addition, and subtraction. All right, let's do an example. Let's say that we have this expression. Now here I have parentheses, I have exponents, I have multiplication, I have division, I have addition and subtraction. Wow, where do I start? Not a problem. Remember, PENDAS tells me that I need to start with a parenthesis. That is this baby here. So 4 plus 2 has to be equal 6. Now that I have done my parenthesis, what is the next step? Well, remember, it is parenthesis, then comes exponents. Here, I have this exponent and I have this exponent. Now be careful. A lot of people tend to make the mistake of saying, for example, here, 10 times 2, and that is not true. This is 10 times 10. 
The exponent tells me that the 10 is being cloned twice. Therefore, 10 times 10 is 100, and 2 times 2 is going to be 4. Well, doing the operation, you can see here, 4, and this guy here is 100. All right, next step. Multiplication, left to right. Well, here I only have one multiplication. So how much is 3 times 4? I hope you told me 12. Next one, division. 6 divided by 2. Now, a lot of people ask me, why is this in parentheses? There's no reason why this is in parentheses. It's just to make sure you can see it. But this is the same as 6 divided by 2. My answer is going to be 3. Finally, addition. Well, I'm going to go ahead and add everything that has a positive sign. In this case, 3 plus 12 plus 100 is 115. And finally, I do the div um, division, not I'm sorry, subtraction, which is 115 minus 4, and that is equals to 111. Let's go ahead and practice together. Now, here I'm giving you a tricky one. And let's see if you can figure it out how to do this one. Well, first I need to start with the parentheses. Now, I look at my parentheses here and I see that 4 minus 6 has to be negative 2. However, I have a negative outside that I need to go ahead and distribute. I remember that negative times negative is equals to positive 2. This is why this whole thing is equals to positive 2. Next step, exponents. Now, here I want to trick you and look what I have done. I have put a negative in the front of the exponent. I hope you tell me that negative 3 squared is equal to negative 9. And I hope you didn't tell me positive 9. And let's see why. This, it is not the same as this. And we're going to talk about this in another video because a lot of people make this mistake. As you can see here, the negative is outside. I'm sorry, here. The negative is outside. And here I have a negative inside. The negative is minding its own business. I don't have a parenthesis. Therefore, 3 times 3 is equals to 9, but that negative is outside. That's what my answer is, negative 9. If this was like this inside the parenthesis, then that would be positive 9. All right, let's move on. Multiplication. Well, now I'm going to have to multiply 4 times 10. That's 40. Then I have division. Well, here I have 40 divided by 2, which is 20. Then I have the addition. 2 and 20 is 22. Finally, subtraction, and that's equals to 13. All right, I hope you learned a lot, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day, and again, thanks for learning.